In this shoemaking tutorial, I will teach you, as I promised before, how to secure back seam of, uh, of boot, of ankle boot, if you want to make them without lining. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and click the bell button to be notified when my new video will come out. Learn how to make shoes with my step-by-step -step video courses. I prepared mini version of the boot and I made only back part of the boot without lining because we don't need to have entire boot. But actually when you make boots you need to have one basic pattern of the boot you see and then use it and create many different boot designs and you can change the high of the boot it can be higher on or shorter depends on the design of your boot this is how we do in shoe making okay so using this pattern basic pattern of the boot i made this pattern of the back of the back uh, part of the boot to show you how to secure the back seam so first step is to finish your boot to to uh, assemble parts of your boot front parts of your boot for example and then after you will create the back seam you can secure the top edge of this back seam here remember that in the back seam when you will make back seam you should follow how to do it um, to create it very thin edge that will not bother your feet according to the steps that I already explained in one of the videos so I will not repeat how to do it you can check it I leave the link to this tutorial in the description below the video okay so I repeat here is it must be flat so when you will wear the shoes it will not bother you what it must be flat because here we don't have lining okay this boot without lining you see this part is without lining so we need to have here flat seam that will not extend although we will have lining here on this part of our boot because we need to keep the shape of the boot using stiffeners and with lining without lining we can't use stiffeners use stiffeners so still this back seam must be flat you see it almost i will i can't feel it because it's very flat how to do it you will find the link to the tutorial okay so after you will make this back seam you will need to prepare a thin strap narrow strap of um, leather you can use same color of leather because it's better to see when it's not so visible on the upper you see it's it uh, looks like one entire piece so, um, it's better to cut approximately, the, the length of this strap is approximately 3 cm. Um, it, we don't need to use uh, such a long strap, but it's better to have a long strap because uh, during skiving uh, you will find it easier to hold long strap than short strap. That's why the length is about 3 cm. The width of the strap, it, it depends on the, on the detail that you want to create on the back seam, but usually it's not too wide and not too narrow, it's approximately between 1 cm and 3 mm and 1 cm 5 mm, maximum 2 cm, but not wider, okay? So length is 3 cm and width is 1.3, 1.5 millimeters, uh, centimeters. Now, because uh, here we use same leather and it's very thick, I remind you that in making boots without lining, we should have thick leather, and I already explained it why in the previous video. So, we couldn't use 
this strap with the original thickness because it will be very bulky here after we will sew it here so we need to scarf it so how we scarf straps in shoemaking it's very uh, it's a little bit difficult to hold and that that's why we have longer strap that we need and first step is to scarf the let's say half of the width and then we will rotate it and we'll hold already in the area where we scarf and we'll scarf the entire surface of the strap okay so how we scarf we can scarf holding one one edge and scarf this edge and then you rotate it already here the use card so you can keep here your um, strap of leather and now it will be difficult to scarf entire surface so we will scarf once here and once here You see, now it's carved. It, it doesn't must to be very thin because it will secure our seam. But only edge, one of the edges of the of the strap must be a little bit thinner because we will sew it here and to not have too thick seam here to see too thick edge. It it uh, it's better to scarf it a little bit more. Okay, now, now we will sew it to the top edge of our upper, but before sewing, let's finish a little bit edge. This edge without folding and without lining and we want to have it very accurate. So when you will make shoes without lining, this is must do operation. and. You remember it even if you will make shoes with a lining but you will have on the upper details without folding you should also use this step in making your shoes so just burn this edge with lighter and you will have clean edge don't hold too much time on one spot move your lighter during this burning step of the edge and um, during this step when you burn the edges same thing here be very safe to not burn your fingers once here and once on the other side okay now you see it's clean nice strap of leather next step is to sew it Choose where you scarfed more and place the edge of this scarfed strap to the top edge of the, of the upper. We can sew it in this way when the edges matches each other and the distance of sewing will be 2 millimeters and then this strap will be this, uh, um, this strap that will secure the back seam will be very thin you can make it a little bit wider and maximum distance from this edge to the seam and maximum width of this strap that will secure will be five millimeters not more if you will have one centimeter for example like this it will be too much visible we want to make it invisible almost so that's why the distance between edge and seam that you will have here is approximately 4-5 millimeters okay so if here will be 5 millimeters from the edge I will sew it 
in the distance of 3 millimeters, I will place the edge of this strap in the distance of 3 millimeters, and then the seam will be 2 millimeters here, okay? You don't need to have here marks or um, measure it, do it by eyes, okay? 2-3 millimeters, place it, it's not, it's not hard to do it, okay? So place like this, and now we will sew here, and then we'll continue, and you will see how to do next steps of the work. Now place the strap on the middle in the way where the middle of the strap matches the seam that we have here. If you can do it by eyes, you can fold the strap like this, find the middle and place it here in according to the center of the upper of the seam that we have here. Is this is the center. Okay? Now we will sew Now I left long edges of a thread and I will explain you why. We left the two edges of the thread with long, uh, with long edges to make here knot, to uh, secure the beginning of the seam and the end of the seam. This is one of the ways to secure the seam that, that I use in my work. Now you need to pull this thread so it will come out in this side of our upper. Same thing with the second edge of the seam, pull the thread. Now we will make double knot here. And we'll cut the extra. Same thing here. And cut the extra. Now we will burn the edges of a thread. And they will stay hidden here in this area. Burn and heat. Now, second step to turn over and overlap our edge with this strap. You need to do it in the way where you will not see the seam. So, don't pull too much. Let's say you will see the seam here. We don't want that it will be visible so we leave it in the way where it a little bit cover the seam and now here in this area we will attach we will attach here as well because this way will be easier to sew our strap here on the inner side of our upper when it will be attached so right now let's place glue here in this area of the upper and in this area of our strap as well as here until the seam that we have here on the inner side of our upper okay use here same glue for leather be very accurate to not place it where we don't need And here until the seam. Put it just a little bit here in this area 
so we will secure it with the glue and in this way it will be easier to sew. Now wait until glue will dry. After the glue will dry, it's about 10-15 minutes, pull it a little bit, but in the way where you will not see the seam, the folding of the strap will cover the seam and attach. Then overlap it and attach here. And now you can heat. Next step will be sewing. Now we will sew this edge of the strap here to attach it to secure it to the upper with the seams because if we uh, will uh, attach it only attach it it will not be enough it will open here so we'll need to sew here and now we will sew close to the place where we fold it okay so we will sew it here so place the needle close to this edge as you can I made two stitches then to secure it I come back same thing here We secured in the beginning and in the end. Now pull threads if you can outside. If you can't pull them, just cut them where they are. Now cut closer as you can. And go. Now let's hit the seam and this part of our detail. You see, this seam is closer to the folded edge as we can do it, and it seems like we sew it here, okay? We can see that it folded, and it creates illusion that this is the seam that attaches this part of our strap. Now, here we need to cut this extra, and when you will cut, before you will cut, pull it a little bit to add to open it because maybe here you place the glue and strap uh, could be attached to the inner part of our upper and now we need to cut it closer to the uh, to the seam as much as we can to see that you will not cut with the scissors the seam you should do it in the way where you can see the seam not in this way like this it's better to see the seam here and check that you 
and be sure that you cut closer to the seam as much as you can. Now this edge we need to hit And this is how we secure the back seam with this detail. This approach to secure the back seam is suitable only uh, for the boots. Because here this part of, of this detail will not touch us fit as much as it could touch us here in the short put for types. Okay, so if you will want to make if you will want to make short cord shoes without lining this approach doesn't fit there are another way to secure the back seam using the same approach is to continue the strap till the lining that we have here make it longer and sew it and sew it here to fix it to attach it well to the upper and in this way this back seam will also will not be visible it will cover it with the strap okay and this strap will uh, will uh, stay behind under the lining that will be here okay so if you will choose this approach you should make this detail before you will attach the lining okay just continue make it longer attach it here and then so not here not only here but close to the to the seam in the distance of one two millimeters and sew it to the inner part of the upper okay so by knowing this approach you could do another approaches this is one of the basic ways to secure the back seam of our upper if we don't want to use lining thank you for watching if you have questions you are welcome to comment below the video if you're new to this channel please subscribe to the channel because here you will find everything about shoe making for free and don't forget to click the bell button to be notified when my new video will come out thank you and see you in the next video bye